lost, so that was a very nice victory in the end and into the hat for the next round of the FA Trophy. Uh, yeah, it's important that we get into the into the next round. But I've been very clear that I want to take it seriously, and the players want to take it seriously. So we we want to we want to we want to move into the, to the next round, and we want more games. And obviously, it fills our January a little bit more. But like, that's not a problem. Like, we we want to be in the next round, and like um, like, I, like it's about from from my perspective trying to make history and trying to be trying to do something that some people have never done or, or the club's never done and, and I'm not saying that's going to end like that but we want to have a go at making it like that and um, I think I think uh, yeah we'll definitely have a go at this cup, this cup competition Obviously it's been a fair while now until we well since we played our last game obviously the win over Gateshead in December the 3rd do you think there was a little bit of rustiness perhaps in the first half? Yeah absolutely like, I, think, I think I mean they were the same though by the way like, but we're no excuses, and, and, and we want to be a no excuses culture. But like, of course, like fifteen days, no games, like that's almost unheard of. Um, it's unheard of in a sense. You don't even get that in some pre season and building in the season. So, of course, there's going to be that little bit of ring rust and that little bit of we like we haven't played a game, and then there's a little bit of nervousness as well because like we have great momentum coming into this, um, and then not that you've lost it, but it just seems so far away. Um, so we've got it back. We're off, um, and uh, we've got rid of the ring rust, and uh, we're on to the next one. We spoke before the game, obviously, about how maybe you wanted to give a few of the uh, squad members a run out to get get rid of the, you know, to get their match sharpness back. But obviously, it ended up being a very strong team because obviously, like we've said, we haven't played for a while. So was that your thinking, just to get match sharpness into those first team players ahead of a big game on Boxing Day? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was my thinking, but also like, no, like, well, in a good team. Mm. Like, like, well, like, let's not like. I know people say they're the league below, but they have it in the last round and. Uh, they started the season really well and they might be a little bit out of form but like as you can see like how they attacked on the left hand side and some of the players they've got in that team in the front line in particular and like obviously the centre midfielders they're very well coached um, they're a tough side so like like you, you come here or come here and 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 not so much not take it seriously but but rotate and, and give others a go and give youngsters a go you put yourself at risk like like the better you, I, I've said to you before, like the, the better players you've got on the pitch um, and the fitter players you've got on the pitch, you'll do better. So if that was our mindset. And obviously, you know, with with such a big game coming up and such a small turnaround, is it is it a, a strange week of training? Obviously, with Christmas in between it. Yeah, and they're all big games, Sam. Yeah. Um, uh, the next one is massive. Um, they're all massive. We want to win them all. Um, that'll never ever change. Like um, I know I've been at this club a while. I live in the area, so. Um, people will, 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 will drill home the importance of it if it's a derby like of course it's important like all derbies are like and we'll be absolutely switched on and focused for it and um, like obviously like training over Christmas is, is part of being a professional footballer and these are very professional uh, they're in a really good mindset and a really good place and obviously there will be times time to spend with the family but like they're obviously the main has said when we're when we're at work we will be at work and we'll be preparing to be walking on boxing there the second half performance out there tonight was really quite dominant it was the, there was some brilliant football being played you know we saw parts spraying balls left right and center ollie harford was having a time of his life out on the left and you know you made two subs well three substitutions obviously but Panny and and ben de lacy turner came on and really looked effective with obviously ben getting his first goal so there's a there's a fair few positives tonight, isn't there? Russell? Yeah, there is, and I, but I think like there's been a lot of positives in every. I'll always try and get positives anyway, but there's been positives in our, a lot of our games, and um, they're good players. Like 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 we're a small squad, which is probably we need depth. We don't we need depth, and we need to add quality to that depth. But like if we get if we're fit and everyone's available, and like obviously we've got Josh and Tommy not 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 here, like, essentially not here tonight. But like when we're fit, everyone's available. They're a cracking team, and. Like, like you're looking at the bench and you're bringing Panny on. I thought Panny, Panny was really good tonight in terms of how he links the play, drops into pockets of space, and like I said, Ollie, Ollie's a fantastic left back and and and, and deservedly I thought man of the match today. Um, how many assists he's got? I'm sure he'll tell you, but, <laughs> but he's done really well. And they're all great. Like like parts is invaluable, and I could go for everyone. I could go for everyone. Um, they're they're a good side. They're a good group. Um, they're coming together. They're going to be more of a team. Um, and, uh, and when when they are more together, and when they do get more of it together, I think they'll be a, a very dangerous proposition for this league. I think we've got to finish by talking about Ben Delacy Turner. You know, obviously you were academy manager. I'm sure you know him quite well from his time in the academy. But that was a fantastic moment to see him come on and score. Yeah, like, and probably a lot of these a lot of these people who watched it or fans don't really know what Ben is and what he offers. Like Ben is 
Ben is, ben is best probably way of describing Ben. He's very similar to Tommy, uh, very similar player, like high energy, will press, and very good on the ball, um, very technical. Um, he, he's a great kid. Uh, he listens to instructions. He's very coachable. Like, you can see, like, I think the best thing about I mean, it was a cracking goal, by the way. Uh, the best thing about that goal is, like, everyone's on him, everyone's jumping, and I think that shows the togetherness and how people, how pleased people were for him. But, like, I know I brought him, we probably look at it and go to a bit of a talk and you bring him on with three minutes to go. But like, um, the plan, the plan, the problem, or the problem with Ben has been just not being out on loan and being getting minutes, but he's been needed here. Um, and, and he will be a, a valuable member of this team in the future. For, and that's absolutely no doubt. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.